The latest figures from the United Nations puts the number of dead from the year-long conflict over 7,500. Yet despite the continued violence, more than 57% of eligible voters cast their ballots to change the country's constitution. This uh, referendum is nothing. Professor Murat Bilhan has 41 years of diplomatic service in the region and sees the referendum as a joke. No, it's too late. I mean, it, it's, uh, it's nonsense. I mean, it's just, uh, it doesn't mean anything. And anyway, it doesn't uh, reduce the, uh, the autocracy which is existing in Syria. It's funny. The new charter could allow for current president Bashar al-Assad to stay in power until 2028 and then limits who can replace him. This is coming up against sharp criticism. Yet some in Turkey feel any political process in Syria is already tainted by world opinion. I believe in the referendum in Syria, but whatever the results, the world's public opinion will be against the Syrian government. There is a campaign against the government. I support China and Russia's action towards the situation in Syria. I believe the results in the referendum in Syria is right and honest. The voices of support for President Assad have been largely ignored by some media, creating a potentially unbalanced perspective of the conflict. On the other hand, you cannot also ignore there's also a sizable percentage of people who are still supporting Assad. And most of these people are afraid of an unsecular regime to come up uh, with uh, religious extremism and something like that. So, so they are afraid of that. While a new constitution is meant to show political action by the Syrian government, the international community continues to discuss how to stop the bloodshed. Both Turkey and China strongly support a diplomatic resolution over a military one. Soft power has no limits. We can just deliver I mean, assistance uh, programs for Syria, uh, in medical assistance, in uh, you know, shelter. But there's also another danger there. There's no united Syrian opposition identity. So we and the international community could have an addressee and uh, they could have, uh, you know, addressed uh, the requirements, joint requirements or something like that. But there's nothing such. One year on, the United Nations, the Arab League and the Friends of Syria coalition have all failed to come up with a robust resolution to the conflict, which has displaced and killed thousands on both sides. There are as many as 10,000 Syrian refugees currently here in Turkey. Yet as the violence continues next door, despite the results of this latest referendum, Turkey is preparing to see that refugee number rise. I'm Natalie Carney for CCTV in Istanbul.